Hey, how you doing? Now, I know it's been a while. Just haven't felt like going out and braving the cold quite yet to get any new photographs or videos or anything. So, anyway, I thought I'd uh, dust off a couple images from the past here and uh, put together a little video here. Now, this particular image here is from uh, August the 12th, 2017. And it's 190 millimeters for two seconds. Now, I might want to say that that's some camera blur, but camera blur of what? I'm not quite sure. I don't really think that that is, you know, camera shake at all. I just think it's a, an incredibly neat uh, butterfly flower, I guess. I mean, what a neat image. But uh, anyway. This one here uh, was taken uh, just a few nights later, and it's at 200 millimeters for three seconds. So I mean that's not doing a whole lot of moving around in a, in a three second time time span. And uh, to me, I can see that this is not camera blur either because this thin trail here, after having taken so many photographs of these things, I know they change shapes and they pulse uh, rather rapidly so I think that's what's going on here it was just barely you know charging up and then it popped uh, whatever it is but um let me see what else I got here oh yeah this image here is 170 millimeters taken on the uh, same night of the uh, infrared video that I want to show you the interesting thing about this is it's eight seconds long, this particular photograph. Let me clean it up here a little bit and have a look at it. Now this is over an eight second time span. So I think what's going on here is this really bright area right here is actually this area here and back here. You know what I mean? And it was just slowly... Uh, tumbling along until it uh, actually powered up right here. Now, I don't know if that's the one that's in this uh, video that I have here or not, but um, like I said, these are only a few days apart, and um, this particular one here was taken the same night uh, of the infrared video. So uh, let me let me show you this video here, and there's a couple things about it I want to point out now I was photographing these uh, I get a lot of clear see-through UFO type looking um, images when I'm doing infrared sometimes you see what I mean that's kind of blurry right there but um, in this in this photograph here there is a column of some kind of light uh, that I can't see uh, you know with the naked eye the only way I was able to see this is with the uh, infrared camera so in other words you know the whole time I'm standing there uh, photographing and filming anything I've got a beam coming down right next to me uh, that I can't even see so this is what I was filming was this uh, you know image right here <clears throat> when this came along and uh, kind of got my attention so I started filming it and uh, you see what I mean? That, that there uh, see-through image is just kind of undulating there. And then, like I said, this here caught my attention, so I started tracking it. And I saw like barely a blink or two at the beginning uh, when I first saw it, but uh, nothing to indicate to me that this is an aircraft. There's no continuous strobe. Now, this thing's gone from the west, which is on my right going off to the left so this thing's like tracking a circle basically right around where I'm at and again the whole time I've got that beam shining down next to me with something uh, jumping around in it and that poor guy there looks like he got hmm. swallowed up by a Jersey cow but <laughs> anyway uh, the next night uh, I've got this photograph right here actually it was just 
later on in the in the uh, the same night because you know after midnight it switches over. But anyway, uh, this particular image here is 180 millimeters for three seconds. So you can see this is not you know Venus or Saturn or you know the moon out of focus or anything. This is a like I said a three second photograph. And I don't know if this was the object that was uh, traveling by uh, that I was photographing in that uh, infrared video or not. But strange looking character there, that is. I mean, it looks similar to the first photograph that I showed you, but uh, a little bit different at the same time. So what in the world it is, I sure don't have a clue. But now this this last one here, I just put this on here because it was, uh, well, it was barely a month uh, later. Uh, this is 300 millimeters for one and a, a third seconds. And this is uh, a month after these other images that I took here, but I just thought it was rather interesting. It's 300 millimeters. Let me zoom in on it a little bit here. Now, this looks more uh, mechanical. Uh, than any of the rest of the uh, images I showed up to uh, prior to this one here. Um, I mean, that's got some kind of mechanical looking structure to it, in, in my opinion. So I don't have a clue what it is, uh, or even really how big it is. It's probably a pretty good size. Like I said, that was 300 millimeters, so it was a considerable uh, distance. And uh, interesting uh, configuration there in my estimation. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video and subscribing if you do. And uh, make sure no matter what you're doing out there, you take care. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.